Well, fancy seeing you again. This is video number two for me, so thanks for chiming in. I've got a cool little project today. I just cut up some red oak out of a slab that I had laying around from Matt down at M2 Lumber. Make sure to go check him out if you need any slabs or any wood or anything. But I've got a cool little project, like I said, just doing some custom boards for a wedding gift for a friend of mine. I'm gonna end up engraving all these, but this is just kind of the process of how I'm gonna do that. Just admire the look of my clean wall with all of my tools hanging from it. I think that is the coolest thing ever. So really the next step is just to remove all of the bark off of these different pieces that I have, and I'm gonna start doing that now. You can see here I'm just going to use the vise on my workbench just to sort of hold this thing steady while I'm attempting to get all the bark off of it. Also not trying to brag on myself, but throughout this video you're going to see a lot of arm action. I mean look how good those guns look. My goodness. Anyways, sorry. Um, you can see here there's a lot of time that, that goes into doing this. Um, but sometimes you'll find that you can just peel back the bark really easily, which always makes for a good day. Toss that on the floor like anything else because I'm another incredibly messy woodworker. I'm sure that you can all relate to that. So uh, the, the reason I'm going to remove all the bark off of these different pieces is for the sole factor that bark will always come off of wood, no matter what you try to do to it, whether you cast it in epoxy or a resin or anything like that. The tool that I'm using to remove all of the bark, as you can see me using with both hands, is called a draw knife. FlexCut is the brand that I like the most, just from a price point perspective. They're definitely not as expensive as what you can spend on a draw knife. It's pretty easy to get into the $100 range, if not more, when buying a draw knife, but the FlexCut, I've found is just excellent it comes super super sharp right out of the package and you really can't beat it for the price I'm, I'm pretty sure that I paid 50 or 60 bucks for this I can't remember they sell it at Woodcraft so make sure to go check that all that out also you can see right here I'm just gonna remove that out of my vise flip the piece over and start to take off the bark on the other side once again I got kind of lucky and it all removed really smoothly at once there's still a little bit of sapwood left behind and it's really important that you don't just get the bark off but that you try to get all of the sapwood. You really want to only be left with the heartwood behind because everything else over time, no matter again what you seal it with, is always going to decay. You can see now I'm just doing a good job of trying to clean that up and make sure there's nothing left on that edge. You can see that I'm just trying to make sure I got everything out of that piece, which clearly I did not. There's still that sapwood left that I just showed the camera. I'm gonna stick that back in the vise and continue to use the draw knife to try to get rid of the rest of it. This can be a little bit of a challenge. You can kind of see my left hand is really close to the workbench. Theoretically, I probably should have just clamped this down flat onto the workbench with that edge hanging off. That way I would have a better position for me to be able to use that draw knife against that side. But do what you gotta do. Now I'm pretty much just gonna repeat the process for the other three boards that I have here. Same thing, clamp it down, use the draw knife, take all the bark and the sapwood off. It's a pretty lengthy process, but it pays dividends because it's always awesome to keep that live edge. Even though you can't keep the bark, it still is gonna hold that edge and people are still gonna immediately realize and recognize what that edge was from, which was just the natural beauty and growth of the wood, which I think personally is the coolest thing to, to be able to show people when you're making these projects is that we're taking something in nature and we're just, all we're, all we're doing is we're trying to beautify 
the beauty that we find in nature. And I think that's a really cool thing to do. Again, I am just being a typical person, I guess, by not wanting to clean up and throw everything on my floor. Once I have all of the bark removed on all four of these pieces, I'm gonna lay them down onto my workbench. I take my festival sander with a 80 grit, and I'm gonna start sanding. I typically don't sand the edges because all I'm gonna do here is put just a regular mineral oil base oil onto these. I'm not really gonna finish this with anything, so it really doesn't matter how I have a grit that I sand and no one's going to be eating off these or really touching them. They're, they're designed theoretically just to hang on the wall. So I'm going to continue to sand those just so I know that they're all relatively smooth and flat. Then I use this cutting board oil that I got at Woodcraft and I'm going to start to apply that just with a paper towel or a shop cloth. A pretty good amount. You'll see as I start to do this, I, I start with a little bit I just kind of go in a circle motion, making sure that it soaks in all the way. And if I need more, I'll, I'll add it as I'm going. But you can tell just instantly how awesome of a color that's gonna add into the wood. Just like before, I'm gonna repeat this three times with the other boards until I have them all looking exactly the way I want to. And I'm just blown away personally with this being red oak, which I really haven't worked with all that much, even though I do a whole lot of woodworking how awesome of a grain really came through. Especially that one all the way on the end, you can sort of see where bugs got into that, that wood at one point, where the color is staying light. That's just the rotten wood showing through. Here's a, a close up of all the grain and, and how awesome that looks. I just think it came out awesome and beautiful. So I'm gonna show you some more pictures that I took after I applied the second coat of mineral oil to all these pieces. I'm just stunned by how they turned out. I think it's so awesome. I have a feeling that this guy's gonna love it. Once I actually get to engrave these for him and, and gift them to him, I just think it's gonna be an awesome project start to finish. But thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that you either learned something or enjoyed watching the process of me doing these. I would love to hear your feedback by either a comment or just send me a message on Instagram or something. I go by Gnarly Roots Woodworking. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram. And I just appreciate it so much. See you next time.